Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Beast, and I'm back out here with another video for y'all. Now, today, man, as y'all can see, this is a different type of video by the title and the thumbnail. I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can set up your very own high school hoops and NBA 2K23, man. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There's a couple of things that you guys need to know before I get into explaining all this stuff, man. First off, man, look, this is for PC users only. I want to get that straight. Like what you're seeing right now, all of this, this is for PC users only. So if, you, if you're if you on console, then th this, is, this is not the video for you. This is for PC users only. So make sure that your PC can run NBA 2K23 and all that stuff. All right. Second thing is I'm going to break this up into four separate parts, right? I'm going to break up this video into four separate parts to make this simple for you guys. All right. Each part is going to have its own references in case you need help with something. If you guys have any questions about anything, you guys can hit my DMs on Discord. I'm going to put the link to that in the description. Along with that, links to everything that you will need is going to be in the description. So make sure you guys watch the video all the way through and make sure you guys are paying attention. All right. Because here's the thing I do not want to get DMs of people asking me how to do this and i just explained that how to how to do it in the video okay i will not respond to your dm if i get questions like that all right other than that man i'm not gonna lie to you it's pretty it's pretty everything is pretty straightforward i'm gonna try to be as quick as possible but also be just straightforward and as blood as possible in explaining everything all right before we get into this man make sure you go ahead drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new share this video out with your friends in case they need it and with all that being said man i'm gonna break this up into four parts so first part is essentials second part is the mod the actual high school hoops mod the third part is importing custom courts and jerseys that you may have gotten from somewhere else and then the last thing is importing custom cyber faces custom players into the game man so new video coming out on cj soon but with all that being said man i'm gonna help you guys out with this tutorial so let's get into it man let's go all right man so before we get into anything man the first thing that you want to download right the first thing that you absolutely want to download to even get any of this started is this hook plugin by louie all right links going to be in the description like i said every link that you're going to need is going to be in the description all right you're going to you're going to download this file right here you're going to download this hook once you download the hook it's going to give you a download right it's going to be four things it's going to be a mods folder it's going to be a hook folder it's going to be like a dl input and it's going to be one other thing right you're going to take those four files all right and you're going to put them in your nba 2k 23 directory now the directory is where everything is going to go as you can see my directory is filled with all of my mods right so when you download the hook you're going to get four things off the rip you're going to get this folder it's going to be empty you're going to get this folder it's going to have some things in it you're going to get like input and you're going to get this hook right those are the four things that you're going to get from downloading this hook plugin right you're going to download that and you're going to put that into this folder right here your 2k directory right once you do that right every single time you load up your game you press fa go to your resources and that's this is essentially how you mod the hook allows you to mod so i just need to make sure that i get that out of the way for people who don't have the hook you know what i'm saying so make sure you download your hook and you're going to install it and you're going to drag it into your folder all right so that's going to be the first thing that you guys are going to that's the first essential that you're going to need right once you guys download your 2k hook all right you can also on this website there's going to be some must-have things that you can get from here if you want to but if you're if you're just here for high school hoops then you don't really need any of this stuff once you guys download your 2k tool you're going to go ahead go in the description of this video right and basically there's going to be a download link for fictional high school hoops nba 2k23 all right you're going to download that file the link is going to be in the description whenever you download it you're going to get something like this right you're going to get this file right here when you open it when you open it you're going to get this right here essentially it's real simple look being able to mod your game is real simple all right all you have to do all you have to do right here is take this folder and you're just going to drag it in here now it's going to take a while to download because it did a big download but you're going to take it and you're going to drag it into here okay so basically this is the entire nba 2k 23 high school hoop right here for you guys to see like this is this is all of it you're gonna take it all it's it's, it's literally the same files right here all it is same files you're gonna take it and you're just gonna drag it over that's all it is you're just gonna take it and drag it over. then when you load into your game right you're gonna load into your game just like i have you press f8 and most likely whenever you start off all of these are going to be turned off right there's going to be probably only one of these on all of your things are going to be turned off right as far as the hook let me explain this as far as the hook it's important to know 
know that whenever you're doing a mods folder, there needs to be mods in the beginning, right? A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people are like, oh, I, I did all this and it doesn't work. Like my high school hoops doesn't want to work, doesn't want to load. One, you need to make sure your folder says mods and then it says whatever the name of the mod is right here. The game recognizes, oh, this is a mods folder. It's got mods in it. Secondly, you guys have the mod installed set up like this, but you guys don't have it turned on. It needs to be enabled in order for it to work. All right. If it's not enabled, then it's not going to show up. So once you drag that and download that, that's essentially it. You're going to you go to go to NBA. You're going to go to user created roster. You go to search by a username and you're just going to type in T G. So good. You're going to download this folder right here. High school hoops V1 need mod files and boom, as you can see, we have high school hoops nba 2k 23 30 30 different teams 30 original teams in the roster it's gonna be moeller uh bishop gorman brewster camden combine academy you know what i'm saying dematha dorman grayson all the these are all the teams from last year's mod if you don't remember now this is going to lead you right into our third thing right we've gone over the essentials right and we've gone over downloading nba 2k 23 the high school hoop so now you're here right now if you want to play you can play just like this right you can you can load into your game you can play just like this you don't need anything else but you can get the custom experience if you follow these next two parts so the third part we're going to focus on is custom courts and custom jerseys now if you look at this mod there is no socal academy right so how do i get my court and my jersey and my team into the game if it's not already in the mod okay first off what you're going to do is you're going to find court mod for any team that you want to i'll leave some references to some people in the description that do court mod some of my guys like kyu uh cookie dot sometimes there's plenty of people who do court mods basically what you're going to do is you're going to find whatever court mod it is that you need you're then going to download it to your computer so cal right here right now we have the red jerseys the black and white jerseys and this is the corded gym all you do right is you go back to that member our our directory we go back to our 2k directory right go to the high school hoops you would just take whatever names or numbers take whatever numbers there are and you just drag them into your game so now the court is in your game but now you got to know where it's at and how to use it all right so it's important it is very important that you get this tool right here nba 2k 23 tools is going to save you all right it's important that you have this this is very important that you have nba 2k 23 tools and i'm gonna see if it'll let me see if it'll load off a rip oh wow 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 that's insane i'm not gonna lie that's insane for all my modders if you know you know bro i can't believe that just happened so we're here this is my roster as you can see this is cj this is my high school roster that i use okay so we got nba 2k 23 tools open as you can see right here and let's say you just dragged in your court mods or whatever into your game you're going to find the team once you download 2k tools and set it up you're going to find your team whatever team it is right there this is socal you can go to edit team and then from there this is where you can edit all the information on the teams that you want so for example so let's say my stadium is s009 right let's in my stadium is s009 i will go in here i'll go to edit as you can see i will put the arena file to s009 i'll put the floor file to s009 right i would save this now as y'all seen in the beginning of the video whenever i was in that custom court that is now my gym right so that's for the gyms for the jerseys essentially the same thing right let's say i want to put our my red jerseys right <laughs> all right so let's say i want to rename and put my red jerseys all right so let's say i drag this in and i rename it to whatever jersey name that i want to right right here you can you can find whichever jerseys your name like your team name is so like if you needed to find philly 1979 you would just look up 1979 right there philly 1979 i have mine renamed to atlanta because that's the team i rebranded over so i have mine renamed to atlanta and and as you can see, if I go to edit player, I go to, I will go to my red jerseys and boom, they're sitting right there. That's how you do custom courts and custom jerseys. The final thing that we're going to be doing is cyber faces. Now let's say you get a custom cyber face. You get a custom player. Basically what we're going to do is we'll, um, we'll put CJ on La Lumiere, for example, right? So let's say, for example, let's take CJ take cj cyber face that i have right as you see i get the cyber folder and these are all the files you're going to take it and you're going to put it in your mods folder 
now for me i have all my mods separated so i have a custom cyber faces folder so for me drag all of these into here just like that now it's in the game but you can't see it this is where we get our 2k tools we'll go to la lumiere we'll go to this anderson waters guy we're gonna go to edit player we're gonna type in 9033 because that was the id for cj you're gonna go back to edit player and boom as you can see we now have cj on la lumiere so that's how you import custom cyber faces into the game man that gets sent to you you know what i'm saying so now as you can see cj is now on la lumiere so that's how that works it's very simple whenever you want to set this thing up man it's just time consuming you know what i'm saying that's all it is but it's very simple as far as setting this thing up man for the end of the video i'm just going to show you guys some reference to people that you can hit up for custom jerseys cores cyber faces all that stuff right you guys can hit up cookie dot or kyu to get you guys some custom cords custom teams into the game as you can see right here man make sure you guys hit these guys up for custom cords custom jerseys all that stuff custom high school jerseys for whatever you want to use in your game you know what i'm saying another person who i know does great cords um you can hit up red light 2k my my guy you know what I'm saying? it's my guy red light 2k he did an entire nba 2k 11 mod so make sure you guys hit him up he could do some commission custom courts for you guys make sure you guys hit him up now as far as cyber faces uh, one of the best to do it in the game, Opal 2K. As you can see, he's got plenty of high school prospects and college prospects in his package. So you guys can hit up Opal 2K whenever it comes to cyber faces. He's got a nice Mikey Williams. He's got this Jared McCain, as you guys have seen in videos before, man. So make sure you guys hit him up for cyber faces. Definitely cop that Bronny James, you know what I'm saying? Another person who does high school cyber faces, but does also NBA cyber faces, Teddy Paul Pierce, PPP. He has some nice cyber faces. He's got a nice Rob Dillingham here. He's got a nice Amani base if you're doing college, but he makes some nice cyber faces. Here's DJ Wagner. You guys have seen you guys have seen this cyber face probably a lot in the modding community, and he also has a very nice Mikey Williams himself. So you guys can hit him up for custom cyber faces and all that stuff. Another person, another reference I can give you guys is Superbug 2K. He does a lot more college scouts, but he also does high school players sometimes just like this jordan hawkins that he just released anthony black he has a whole high school prospects with wimby and school and so if you guys are looking for cyber faces those are probably some of the best that i can suggest to you to get there's also other models who make nba cyber faces so you can so you can hit them up for those there's also custom discords that you guys can join for nba 2k modding i'm going to show you guys right now as you guys can see there's 2k connect which helps with uh modding just in general if you guys want to learn how to mod cut just in uh, uh, general general modding and all that stuff uh high school hoops 2k23 i'll leave a link in the description for this one a lot of people have been in here modding they even got a fictional college hoops if you're not already in here i would suggest trying to get in here if you want to do college hoops but that is essentially it for this video on modding hopefully i explained it as best as i can if you guys have any questions hit me up you guys can leave them down in the comments hit me up on discord but i'm not like i said i'm not going to answer questions that have already been answered in this video okay if you guys don't watch the video all the way through then you're not going to understand like half of this stuff don't try to just do it and then leave you're not going to understand if you guys don't watch the videos okay that's going to do it for this video man i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys i hope this did help you out you know what i'm saying all that being said it's been your boy beast and I'm out.